The normal way of calculating VAT is the invoice accounting method. Uh, you have to calculate VAT and pay it over when you raise a sales invoice. You claim back VAT on your purchases when you receive the invoice. The cash accounting scheme, as, it, as you might imagine, you don't pay VAT over when you, re when, you receive a, when you issue a sales invoice. You only pay the VAT over when your customer pays you and with your purchases you only claim the VAT back when you've paid your suppliers. Um, it is, there is, it's very easy to join the cash accounting scheme, you just decide you're joining it. You don't have to send a form off or anything, you just have to pick a date, probably the beginning of a VAT quarter, and then you go from there. Um, it's important to make sure you get what's called cut-off right, you don't want to double count sales or miss any off. Um, you can also leave the, VA, the, the cash accounting scheme very easily, you don't have to, again, you just make sure you don't double count or omit anything. Um, you can only join the cash accounting scheme if you expect your sales to be less than 1.35 million in the next 12 months. So it brings in all small businesses, really. The advantages of the cash accounting scheme, one is, for small businesses, is the bookkeeping simplicity. If you just keep a cash, a cash book in your spreadsheet and perhaps cash expenses, um, when you record your transactions, as long as you've got VAT columns, you've automatically worked out your VAT. If you're on an invoice accounting scheme, you need extra uh, records to record when you when you invoiced um, sales and when you received purchase invoices. So simplicity is a big advantage. There is a cash flow advantage. If your customers take a long time to pay you, you're much better off in the cash accounting scheme because you can wait. Uh, you'd have to pay the VAT till, you, till your customers pay you. On a similar theme, that means if customers never pay you, if you've got bad debts, you never pay the VAT to the VAT man. Under the invoice accounting scheme, the traditional one, um, you have to pay the VAT over on bad debts and then claim it back on, under what's called bad debt relief six months after you should have been paid. So all that time you're without that cash. It's sort of adding insult to injury. The disadvantages of the cash accounting scheme if you are in a business where everyone pays you quickly and you get credit for your purchases, you're probably better off in the invoice accounting scheme because you can get the VAT back on your purchases quicker. Um, the other disadvantage perhaps of the cash accounting scheme is when you leave, sometimes you have to pay an extra lump of VAT for all these debtors you've got. You, you, you hadn't, you've got to remember that You've got a load of debtors, you've got a load of potential VAT to pay, and if you go over to the invoice accounting scheme, suddenly all this VAT becomes due. But overall, I would say it's, it's, there are far more small businesses using the cash accounting scheme than the, the invoice accounting scheme for, for those reasons.